So we've got our, uh, this is our right hand rear lower wishbone. Uh, we're going to start off by fitting the outer bushes. So this is to the bottom of the, the upright. So the hub as such. Again, we've got nice new bolts to go all the way through. Again, when we took them apart in the video, they were completely seized in. They were a nightmare to try and get out. Apart from that, wishbone's looking really good. As standard, we have two different color bushes here. They're different shore hardnesses. We have a 65 shore and a 75 shore A bush. Now, the blue ones actually fit at the front side of the wishbone. This actually allows the car to retain its passive steering at higher loads, higher speeds. Um, we also do a race version of this kit as well. It does the whole car. It's made in red 85 Shore A, and it basically eliminates that, you know, just for track purposes alone. But we'll show you how easy it is, again, to fit these ones. So we'll start off with the, the blue ones. So again, we're just gonna just put a bit of washing up liquid around the flange. go. Just use a little collar again. Go. It's easy as that. Now this one isn't yeah, obviously we need fully to, in. We need so to we're... push this a little bit through again, so let's flip it round. Just a little touch. Just give it a little shake in there, just to let it settle. Okay, I'll do it. Bam. That's us nicely seated in there. So would you say the easiest way to do this would be the orange bush is in line with this little bracket? Because if you've got these mixed up in the, you know, yeah, the oh yeah. floor or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, if, if you don't quite know what's left hand and right hand, 100%, yeah. This is always to the back of the vehicle where your anti-roll bar sits in the back of the subframe. Yeah. Good. Right. Okay. Yeah. Onto the rear outer bush. Exact same process. Just gonna just go back a little touch again just to settle it. We'll give it a little wiggle in there. Okay. Super. Outer bushes for the wishbone done. 